For almost 50 years, Israel has been the largest recipient of annual American aid in the form of grants and supplies of military equipment on preferential terms, writes the Washington Post. This support is spelled out in 10-year agreements and does not decrease with each decade, but on the contrary, it grows. If in the 2000s it was around $30 billion per decade, then in 2016 a new agreement was signed for $38 billion. Respectively, every year it is $3.8 billion. We also know about the exchange of intelligence, about the training of soldiers that the Israeli army undergoes under the patronage of the United States of America. A similar version of security guarantees for Ukraine is now being discussed by the United States and allies. Their essence was explained by National Security Advisor to President Biden, Jake Sullivan. So, the concept is that the United States, alongside other allies and partners within a multilateral framework, will negotiate bilateral security commitments with Ukraine for the long term, meaning that the United States would be prepared to provide various forms of military assistance, intelligence and information sharing, cyber support and other forms of material support so that Ukraine can both defend itself and deter future aggression. Jake Sullivan national security advisor to the President of the United States at a briefing in London on July 9, 2023. The Israeli army dominates in the air, sea and land. Bringing the Ukrainian army closer to these standards will require time and considerable resources. Yes, if the cooperation between the United States and Israel lasts almost 50 years, then in terms of Ukraine we understand the short-term guarantees that the United States will give to other states. And therefore it is even in their interests to place us under the common umbrella of Article 5 of the NATO Washington Treaty, since we understand that the issue of funding that will be needed for the Ukrainian army is larger amounts than what is allocated to Israel. Kyiv has repeatedly stated that it perceives any format of security guarantees that differs from full membership in NATO solely as a half measure necessary in the transition period before Ukraine gains membership in the alliance. Most likely, in fact, no Israeli model will work for Ukraine, it will be necessary to develop some special Ukrainian model. And again, it should be noted, and President Zelensky has repeatedly emphasized this, that in fact Ukraine's ultimate goal is to join NATO, even if not now and not tomorrow, ultimately we must be a member of NATO, and this will be the best guarantee of security for Ukraine. Guarantees and long-term support for Ukraine can be based on military assistance in the construction of the armed forces, experts say, and the foundation of such support should be financial guarantees for the long or medium term. At the same time, security guarantees from allies may contain different components. There should be sanctions and weapons, finances, air defense, aircraft, the president of Ukraine believes, and these guarantees will be needed only on the way to NATO, Volodymyr Zelensky stressed. Reported by Roman Smoller, Natalia Bilokudia, UATV News.